Yeah, yeah, what up YouTube? It's your boy Denali, aka Don Squally, back at y'all with another Forza Horizon 3 build video, man. In this one, we have a request video from Euro Ricer on YouTube, and he wants to see a Mitsubishi Galant build, man. So what we are gonna do is jump up into the Horizon Festival go to the marketplace and buy ourselves a Mitsubishi Galant. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there's only one option for the Mitsubishi Galant available in this game, and that is an older model. We're gonna find out in about two seconds right here, and it is the 1992 Galant VR4. Now, we already did a build of a Galant on the channel, back in the day on Horizon 2. Some of you guys may have seen that video. Um, and we did kind of like a grandma's beater um, Mitsubishi. Now I'm not gonna go through too much um, too much trouble to try to find something that is, uh, you know, the similar uh, design. I'm just gonna go for the color scheme, man. And that is the blue with the gold rims. Um, actually did a similar schemed build on the channel with the uh with the i believe it was the ford focus rs but to hell with it man we going in on this thing i'm thinking we are gonna slam this thing out stance it out make it look like a wrx clone now right off of the bat this thing looking super old kind of like an old school camry or something like that real boxy real ugly we're gonna see if we can fix all of that so with that being said let's back it on up oh and jump into the upgrade section first and foremost and get this build started now obviously we're gonna have to do a little bit of an engine swap uh what are we looking at here man inline six not a hundred percent sure if that motor was from a mitsubishi but i want to make sure that this thing sounds like a mitsubishi man so let's just keep it one hundo oh my god what the hell's going on what like i i have no words right now i have absolutely zero words for what i have just seen right there like i don't know i i just we're just gonna pretend that that, that never happened <laughs> Uh, I'm thinking this first non-adjustable bumper right there is looking pretty good. Let's see if we can get a wing delete happening here. Eh. This, to be honest, looking like an old school Chrysler Shadow or Dodge Shadow. Not really feeling that. That's what I'm talking about right there, man. Uh, let's see what we got going on here. Let's go ahead and call this the Budget Evo build, man. How does that sound? Um, now... I was actually a little bit confused, man, because when I said that I built one of these in Horizon 2, I actually was thinking of the Subaru Legacy, man. So with that being said, we're going to keep it moving forward. Still going to keep that beautiful color scheme with the gold and the yellow. And I'm thinking some nice, uh, nice spoked out wheels here. Going to look real dope on this thing. Uh, so let's go ahead this is exactly what i'm after right here a nice six spoke wheel with a little bit of a lip on it and uh, i think if we can get this thing to be oh we have a disconnected controller your boy denali aka don squally i'm thinking if we can big up that wheel size it is gonna make this thing look absolutely fresh i'm thinking a 18 is gonna look good because we did say we wanted to go slammed and stanced as well as rally build here um let's see what we got going on here man throw a nice little clutch on here um i'm already starting to realize that this uh <laughs> this build's starting to get a little butchered um with all the messed up names and stuff like that so if you guys are still watching on to this point man that means you guys are you know you guys are a true fam you know you guys you guys really you guys really enjoy me don't you brings a tear to my eye, man i love you guys um so we're just gonna keep it moving forward obviously throw on an intake and exhaust let's go ahead and do that then we're gonna throw on a massive turbo on here i pretty much want to max this build out everything except for cams because i don't want to change the cam lobe and the way that it sounds 
um, when it's revving up, but pretty well everything else we are going to go ahead. This is starting to get a little bit uh, expensive. Now the Evo's running, I'm going to guess around $40,000. So this is not budget anything, but we, uh, you know, we're going to make it as competitive as possible. And I just want it to look good, man. So I'm thinking that's pretty good. 53 grand, not really budget, but I can almost guarantee that this car needed it. Um, simply because of the fact that it is, I mean, shoot, what's that? 10, 20, this car is old, man. It is old. You know what I'm saying? Um, so what I'm thinking we're going to do next up, jump into the design and paints. Now let's just for shits and giggles, go back here and, uh, find new designs. Let's see if there's anything that will make it look like an Evo. Now, it would be blasphemy if they had something there for WRX. But let's see if we have any Evo skins, man. Not really feeling that. So we're going to keep it moving forward with the paint scheme that I had in my own mind. And now, basically, all that I wanted to do, black out those windows, get a nice set of gold, you know, nice light gold paint on there. Make it look nice and sexy. Let's put that one on there, man. And that is looking absolutely sick as ever. Now what we need to do is jump up into the upgrade section and just make sure that everything is kosher, man. So if you guys have enjoyed this video so far, don't forget to smash that like button. If you guys want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Tell a friend, man. Tell some friends. Maybe your friends want to watch some... Uh, you know some YouTube builds maybe your girlfriend wants to watch some maybe I don't know maybe your parents wants to check some out just you know tell some friends man spread the love um so yeah I'm thinking that's probably gonna be it for in here um let's jump outside of the festival real quick this thing is looking mint man I absolutely love that boxy look those gold wheels looking super sick Oh, we man, look at how sexy this thing is. Now, I do almost wish that the wheels poked out a little bit at the side, but even the fact that they do stick in a little bit gives it such a beautiful look, man. Let's take this thing out to the road. Go for a nice rip. I absolutely hate this festival. Gets the paint looking mad dirty. As soon as you drive it out, it just looks ugly as hell. But this car is absolutely beautiful, man. I, I don't think it could turn out any any better. Just looks so sexy. You know what it reminds me of is an old school, um, I want to say DX Civic. The old sedans, the little ones. It just looks mint, man. So let's take it for a little bit of a rip, see what it's all about. No lack of power, to be 100% honest. I just got finished uh, building the 190E, which if everything goes according to schedule, you guys would have seen yesterday. And um, yeah, man, this car definitely has way more power than that vehicle. Sounds so much better, man. So much better. Now, we did not widen up the wheels, so I'm noticing around the turns, it's a little bit slidey. Now, it is still all-wheel drive. We did, I believe, do a brake kit, but as you can see, it just it overshoots where I want it to go. So I may have to go back and widen up those wheels a little bit. Not going to do it right now, just for the sake of the video. I want to keep things moving for you guys. I just love these canyons, man. This map is honestly dope. Now, when I first seen it and I first started playing the game, I honestly thought it was a little bit small to look at it, but I mean, everything is just so spread out. 
very wide. Only a few little like town areas where you can get some really solid drifting in. But everything else, just great for cruising. Lots of stuff to explore. When you get out on, you know, just in a car like this, it's nice just to not have to beat the living hell out of it. Redlining it, just enjoying it. You can hear that blow off valve, man. I really got to hand it to Forza. You can hear the... Really took it to the next level with the, just even everything. Not only the, the... Oh, woo! Almost wrecked it. Not just the visuals, but also the audios. Just love it. Let's see what's down this road, man. Unexplored road. Let's do it. See, I'm thinking we're probably going to put an end to this video. Um, I don't know. I may do one more build before the night is up. But once again, if everything goes ah, according to schedule, you guys will probably be seeing that one tomorrow. Speed zone. It's this downhill that's really going to get me, I think. Like this big old turn right here, man. Back on the gas. Over rev just a little bit there. 161, new personal best, can't really complain. Probably, to be honest, never even hit that speed trap before, so probably nothing to, uh, nothing to brag about. But hey, man, those fans are going up. So let's find a nice little house over here to post up in front. Give ourselves a little bit of background, uh, you know, just a little bit of something to look at. In the background, let's steal this guy's driveway for a little bit of a photo op, man. You know how we do it. So with that, oh, we're not in reverse. With that being said, once again, if you guys did enjoy this video, we are gonna jump into drone mode real quick. If you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to smash that like button if you guys wanna see more. And you're not subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe. Um, I guess we can't really call this one a slammed in stance, man. We're just gonna call it a budget Evo build. So yeah, with that being said, man, I'm thinking, I already said that, I'm thinking so. I'm probably done thinking I'm thinking. So once again, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. It means the world to me. And we're going to catch y'all at the next one, man. Peace. Oh, oh, no. Oh, for fuck's sake, every fucking time. I had a V8, yeah. Oh, oh. Recovery of a lifetime. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Yeah, just keep on rolling there. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about the race or anything.